Thanks a million. It's uh, it's great. Really enjoyed it. We 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 go back a long way. Is right, and we go back a long way with a lot of people in the audience as well. And uh, in my case, it, it, uh, on the 28th of December 1979, at half past three, I I walked into a pub uh, 100 yards down the road from here, and there was three people in the pub. The the new year was a big deal in those days. It, was, uh, it lasted about three weeks. <laughs> but they hadn't arrived yet. The crowd hadn't arrived on the 28th, and that act, they had arrived that night. But uh, I didn't know where I was. I I, I actually went to Ballybahan, not knowing where that was. And I was meant to stay with some lads, and I couldn't find them. So it was um, most folk. It was O'Loughlin's then, I think. And they, they I got a, I got a bit um, tipsy, and they they reminded me, and they they said, you know. Bally Bahan is not for you. <laughs> and they drove me down to Dublin. <laughs> and I walked into McGann's pub at half past three, but maybe 25 to four, and 1979. And there was a, a man sitting on the little ledge, little bench, just inside the door there. And he had a fiddle in his hand, and it was a, it was a good sign. It was a man called Roger Burridge. He was no longer with us. And uh, he was a great man, and uh, loved the music. And, Loved playing music and loved when Tommy Peoples did his triplets. He, he, he was a man, he was a heavy set man, but he, he'd rise three inches when Tommy did one of his little flicks on the, on the fiddle ball. But uh, beyond um, Roger, there was a, a young woman behind the bar, and her name is Teresa McGann. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> there, was a, there was a very, very young man, teenager, 15 year old, sweeping the floor. And that was Kevin Griffin. <laughs> and uh, we, Kevin had, had, had no tunes at that stage. He, he, he had a Morris banjo, about 15 quid's worth, I think. And, and, uh, but he was, he, was, uh, he was watching and listening. There was uh, Charlie Brown was playing through that that's the first summer. Yeah, yeah. Tony Dalton arrived in. And uh, Kevin used to come, he, he, he'd be working, pick up glass and things. And, uh, Teresa called him to play a tune at the end of every night, and of course we'd be working our arses off all night to get a track on. He'd come down and take all the glory with one tune, <laughs> and we all rough him. And uh, then he got the two tunes. I remember it was a, he, he got the Mason's apron, and that was like a, that worked. <laughs> yeah, but um, we played with a lot of people over the years with Seven Kevin. Then Mick Hopper, who's no yeah. longer with us, the German fiddle player. Martin Cairns, Christy Heaney, who's no longer with us. Um, we played with um, Pat O'Reilly, Niall Sheedy, Tommy Carty, who's in Australia. We played with uh, Mary Custy. We played with Sharon Shannon. We played with lots of people. And uh, Michelle, Michelle Bonamy is right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then Yvonne Chasey arrived in. And we, then, then we got kind of serious. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> and uh, we, 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 we have never done anything right since. <laughs> But we're very happy to be here, and thanks to the organisers. It's a big deal for us to be here playing together again, and uh, we, we, we're really enjoying ourselves. Thanks very much.